everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing a new lip tint that Etude came out with. It is their Fixing Tint Velvet. They only came out with one lip color, which is Winter Strawberry. This is a collaboration with my fave archive. They sell different types of merchandise like iPhone cases, keychains. It is different from their Fixing Tint collection. For the packaging, you have a rectangular shaped packaging. It has a bow at the front white body with a pink cap. For the brush, you have a typical lip tint brush. It tapers from the bottom up and it has a round tip. Um, slightly angled upwards as well. It is a limited edition, but today I will also be comparing with other lip products to see what is similar to it. So this is the ingredients look for Winter Strawberry. It's a cool summer mute color. It does look similar to the promotional pictures. It does look more like a fuchsia, pink, moody type of color. So it is semi-brightening. Also, it does have purple in it. Formula so far for the ingredients look, there's not much moisturization. Semi-buttery, it's semi-moisturizing. However, it feels very lightweight. It's not sticky, it's not waxy. It doesn't have much of a blurring effect, so you'll be able to see the cracks of your lips pretty well. The formula kind of reminds me of Pear Press Ink Glue Matte Tint. It has a semi-velvety finish, but it's not as thick. I would say it's quite creamy. It's not as creamy as Pear Press Ink the Velvet, but enough so that it gives semi-moisturization. Very easy to apply and blend on the lips. Very pigmented as well, so the little does go a long way. Very easy to create a gradient look. So this is the full look. Now we have more pigmented pink wooly color. It does have a little bit of a purple undertone, but it's quite subtle. It's going to look more like a fuchsia pink color. For the full look, it is a little bit muted, but because it does have fuchsia in it, it's semi-brightening. It is more moisturizing than the gradients look. However, it does have a semi-buttery velvet finish. It's also a matte finish as well. Very pigmented, very buildable, easy to blend. It creates an even application. I'm gonna go ahead with the transfer test. So as you can see, it does transfer quite easily. You do see a little bit of a stain on my lips, but um, it does seem to have transferred quite a bit. In the corner of my lips, it looks lighter because it's transferred, but it does leave a little bit of a stain. I would say it looks more like the ingredients look. I had it on for about five minutes too, so. So I went ahead and reapplied it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a mask test. I'm pretty sure it's gonna transfer, but just in case you're curious, So it did transfer quite a bit. The stain is still quite pigmented. Here's a comparison swatch. We have Winter Strawberry at the bottom. And then we have Roman Mauvish in the middle, which looks quite similar to Winter Strawberry. They have a similar mauve pink purple color. At the top, we have 15 Woody Pink from a Tooth Fixing Tint. It does have more purple in it. It's a little bit more muted. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with Mauvish. I have to say, they do look really similar. If you are interested in this shade color and it's hard to get it, I would recommend Romance Blair Fudge Tint in Mauvish. Beautiful and perfect shade for fall. It's actually one of my favorite um, shades for fall this year. For the formula, it has a semi velvety finish. It's not super moisturizing, but it does make your lips look moisturized. It has a semi matte finish. As I mentioned earlier, it's very easy to blend, very easy to build up the color, very pigmented. It's not as fixing or long lasting as I would have imagined it to be, but it does give a little bit of a stain. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.